Hello, this is Mr. Collier, and today we're doing trig modeling. Um, so in this following example, we have an equation that models the depth in the, of water in the harbor. And of course, uh, in the ocean, the tide goes up and down. So the tide goes up and then down. This is low tide, and this is high tide, and then low tide again, then high tide again, right? So um, at 6 o'clock in the morning, we have the, high, the low tide is at 8 point two meters and at 12 o'clock uh, we have the tides at 14.6 uh, meters okay so to find the value of Q let's look at the equation uh, Q is the number in front here so that is the amplitude okay so the amplitude is half the distance from the minimum to the maximum Okay, if you want half that distance, well, the distance between the minimum and maximum is just uh, found by subtracting them. 14.6 minus 8.2. Okay, so that divided by 2 is going to be, yeah, it's going to be 3.2. Okay, so Q equals 3.2, and P, as we can see, is right here, so that is the uh, vertical shift or the principal axis, the, the horizontal line that goes straight through the middle of this function, right? Okay, so that can be found by, well, what number is exactly between those two numbers? That's basically the average. So we can find the average of 14.6 and 8.2 to get the value of P. So if you do that, you get 11.6. Okay, so now we have all the missing values in the function. We can use it to solve some problems. So in part B, uh, we have find the first time the time uh, first time in the 24-hour period when the depth of the water is 10 meters. Okay, so let me erase the principal axis here now and all this stuff. So what we want to do is find first time when it hits 10 meters is right there. So I'm just going to draw the rest of this. Line. So it hits 10 meters about this time. Okay, so we can figure that out by graphing on our GDC. Okay, so here we have. Okay, I'll graph it over here. Uh, so let's type in the, the function with the P and Q in there. So uh, the P and the Q are 11.6 and 3.2. So just type that. Type in that function. Type in y equals 10, that will be the, give you the horizontal line. And make sure you're in radian mode because we're using radians here. Uh, radians is a default. Use radians all the time unless you, you have to use degrees for some reason. Okay, also I want uh, my window to look like this. So I can type in uh, my x goes from 0 to 24, so I can type that into window. My y values goes, go from 0 to 15, so I can type that in. And when I graph, I can see uh, see this window here, and I can calculate this point by going second, calc, intersect, and uh, so I can just go to, go to this intersection point and click enter, 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 and I get this at four, so it's exactly four. Okay, so it's at this intersection point is four zero, um, so that's at four o'clock in the morning. Okay, uh, so after that it goes below 10 meters. Uh, use the symmetry of the graph to find the next time when the depth of the water is 10 meters. So the next time is right here. And we could use our calculator again, but we can actually use the symmetry of the graph because, because it's symmetric and this is 2 away from this point. Then the next point here is 2 away from this point here. So it should be over at 8, right? Okay, so that's the next time is at 8 o'clock. Okay, hence find the time intervals in the 24-hour period which the water is less than 10 meters deep. Okay, so we need to find these other two points. And uh, I guess we can use the symmetry of the graph again. Look, so we have from here to here is 4. See that? From 8 to 12, it's 4. So from here to here, it's going to also be 4. So this is going to be at 16. And this distance here was also 4, so this is going to be at 20. Okay, so we could say down here, find the time intervals in which the water is less than 10 meters deep. Well, that's between 
4 o'clock and 8 o'clock in the morning, and between uh, uh, well, 8 o'clock in the evening and 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, in the next example, we also have a graph that models the depth of water um, from midnight to noon during one day. So, let's use the graph to write down an estimate for the value of t when the depth of the water is a minimum. That looks like right about here, it's at 7 o'clock. And when the water is the maximum, that will be at 1 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Um, when the depth of the water is increasing most rapidly. Now that's kind of like a calculus question. Uh, well, if you look right here, the water is not increasing at all. Here it's decreasing. It's going down, down, down. And slowly slows down its decreasing rate. And then it's kind of stopped here for a moment in time. Then it's increasing again. So actually, place where it is increasing the quickest is going to be right in the middle of this minimum and this maximum over here at 13. Okay, I know it's maximum because from this maximum here it's 1 to this minimum it's 7. So that's a distance of 6. So the next maximum is going to occur 6 hours away from here which is at 13. Okay, and what's in the middle of 7 and 13? 10. So right in the middle that's when we have the steepest slope here, right at 10. Okay, so the depth of the water is increasing most rapidly at 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, the depth of the water can be modeled by this function. Show that A equals 8. Well, A is the amplitude, so that is half the distance between the maximum and the minimum. The maximum looks like it's about 18. Uh, the minimum is about at 2. So we can subtract and divide by 2, and we get half the distance between the maximum and the minimum, minimum, which is 8. Okay, so that shows that A equals 8. Uh, write down the value of C. C in this function is the principal axis, so it's the one right in the middle. It looks like it's about 10. And actually, if you do 18 plus 2 divided by 2, you get 10, so it's going to be 10. B, we get because, uh, by looking at the period, so we use period equals 2 pi over b. And what's the period in this case? Well, from this maximum to this minimum is 7, which is half the period. Or the distance sorry, the distance between here and here is 6, which is half the period. So double that is 12. So the period is 12. And you can see the distance from here to here is 12. So the period is 12. 12 equals 2 pi over b. So for b, we get b equals 2 pi over 12 or b equals pi over 6. Okay, so b equals pi over 6. And lastly, we have a uh, sailor knows that he cannot pass uh, p when the depth of the water is less than 12 meters. Calculate the values of t between which he cannot pass p. Okay, so let's just erase some of this stuff here. Uh, so 12, we can draw a horizontal line across here. So she cannot pass between this time and this time because the water is too low. Okay, we can solve that on our calculator. Let me just write down the equation of the function now. So we're going to solve uh, uh, y equals, what's the a value again? The a value is 8. Yeah, cosine b is pi over 6, uh, and we're going well, to, let's just do t, but we're going to do x in our calculator, plus the c value is 10. We're going to solve when that is equal to 12. So we're going to solve when that's equal to 12. So let's go do that on our calculator. Um, so we'll put a y equals here, and we'll type that in. We'll use 12 for our second function. And the first one we have 8 cosine pi over 6 times x minus 1 plus 10. Okay, and then uh, 
From the diagram here, you can figure out how to set your window. Let's go from 0 to 12, because we're looking at a 12-hour period. The Y values will go up to 20. And there's the graph. Okay, there should be a horizontal line coming in there, and we need to find these points. So let's do second calc intersect is number five. And I'll go over close to this point intersection. Enter, enter, enter. We get 3.52. Okay, so that's uh, the first answer is 3. Point, oh, this point here is 3.52. Okay, and let's get the second one, second calc, intersect, and I'll go over there. And press enter, enter, enter. 10.48 or 10.5. Okay, so that's about three th between 3.30 and 10.30. Let me adjust this for a second. Okay, so here's the equation of the function. P sine qx plus r. And we have to find the value of p. So p in this case would be the amplitude, which we can see is, is 0 0.5. Okay, uh, just check. There's no flip or anything, so it doesn't need to be a negative 0 0.5. It's positive 0 0.5. The R value here is going to be the vertical shift or the principal axis, which is over at 1.5. Okay, in order to find Q, we need to use the we need to use the formula period equals 2 pi over B, or in this case Q, I guess. Okay, uh, so let's figure out what the period is from the graph. So if you look, we have uh, we have this distance from A to B. Well, this distance here is the period. The distance from A to B is half the period. Okay, the distance from A to B, we can subtract these values. Pi over 2 minus pi over 6, which equals 3 pi over 6 minus pi over 6, which equals 2 pi over 6, which equals pi thirds. Okay, so that is half the period. So the period is twice that. The period is 2 pi over, over 3. Okay, so 2 pi over 3 equals 2 pi over Q, and we have Q equals 3. Okay, next we have a Ferris wheel question. Um, so let's take a look at what's, what's happening here. The height of the Ferris wheel is 100 meters. And okay, we start at point P, and takes one revolution takes 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes, we're back to this point again, 20 more minutes, and so on, right? Okay, so write down the height P above ground level at 10 minutes. So it takes 20 minutes to go all the way around. So at 10 minutes, you're up here. So the height's going to be 100 meters. Okay, after 15 minutes, you're going to go 10 minutes, and another five minutes, you're over here. So you're 50 meters above the ground. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, next part. We have, okay, here's some times or heights at certain times. Now we know at after 10 minutes, you're up, uh, up to 100. So after five minutes, you're at 50. So this here kind of makes sense, right? And these are the times in between. Show that the height after eight seconds is 90.5. Okay, so if you look at this circle again, the Ferris wheel. Um, okay, so at eight, at ten seconds you'd be here. So at eight seconds you're like over here somewhere, right? At eight seconds you're you're two seconds away from getting reaching the maximum. All right. So that is going to be the same. Sim, so if you look at two seconds away from the beginning, you're going to be at a height of nine point. Uh, 9.5 meters above the ground. So two seconds away from the maximum, you're also going to be at a height of 9.5 meters from here. Okay, so 9.5 meters from here is 100 minus 9.5 
uh, which equals 90.5. Okay, that's one way to show it. We could set up a uh, cosine function and show that, but you can just show it with this diagram. Find each of 20. Well, if you, after 20 minutes, you're back to here, and then one more minute, you're over here. So it's the same thing as h of 1, which is 2.4 meters. Okay, you're back to 2.4 meters above the ground. Sketch the graph of h. Well, uh, we can just do a sketch, very simple sketch. Let me just redraw that a bit so it's a bit straighter. Uh, okay so let's draw that in and the height goes up to 100 and there's 50 in between and your time's going up to 40 so let's draw 40 over here 20 other special numbers are going to be 10 and 30 i guess so remember you start off point p starts off at the bottom after 20 minutes you're back at the bottom again after 40 minutes you're back at the bottom again after 10 minutes, you're at the maximum, which is 100. After 30 minutes, you're up at 100 again. Uh, then we're at 50. After 5 minutes, you're at 50. And after 15, you're going to be back at 50. So it's going to look like a, you know, just like a regular cosine or sine graph. Okay, so draw something like that. Okay, h can be expressed in this form, a cosine function. Uh, well, let's look at the principal axis first. That's right in the middle. Right in the middle is 50. So C is 50. Now the amplitude is half this distance, which is 50, right? The amplitude is 50, but um, let me just extend this a bit. We don't have a horizontal shift, right? So how is this going to look like cosine? The only way for this to look like cosine is if you uh, have a flip here. Okay, so I'm going to say that A has to be negative 50. Okay, the amplitude is 50, but we have a flip as well. So A equals negative 50. B we can get with the formula period equals uh, 2 pi over B. And the period is distance from here to here. So that's 20. 20 equals 2 pi over B. So b equals 2 pi over 20, which equals pi over 10. Okay, so that's the b value. So the whole function is negative 50 cosine pi over 10 times time plus 50. Okay, in this next example, we have, again, a tied question. And we don't have a picture or a function here. We just have some information. So we have the time of the uh, low tide and high tide and the heights of the high tide and low tide. Okay, so let's start by maybe trying to sketch a little bit of a graph here. Okay, the tide goes up to 5.2, so maybe I'll go up to 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 meters. And over here... Uh, we're going to buy time and hours, so I'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, something like that. At 4.15, which is 4.25 hours, then we have the maximum. Minimum, minimum occurs at 10.27. Now 10.27, that's not 10.27. Uh, to change that to a decimal, you do 27 divided by 60, which equals 0 0.45. Okay, so we need to go over to 10.45. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So at 10.45, we have a minimum at 2. Okay, so that's 10.45 comma 2. And that is, uh, what was that, 4.25 comma 5.2. So that's our maximum or minimum. So it's going to be a, a sinusoidal function. So let me just undo that. Doesn't look too good. Um, maybe I can try drawing the rest of it. It'll help me out a bit. Okay. So it looks something like that. This part from here to here is like half of a period. Uh, okay. So let's take a look at the questions here now. I find a trig equation that models it. So. Uh, 
I'm going to use cosine because it starts off with a maximum kind of like cosine does. So I'm going to use cosine function. So h of t equals a cosine b times x minus c plus d. And firstly, I guess we can get the d is the principal axis that runs right through the middle. Um, so we have this is 5.2. It's really hard to read. That's 5.2. Let me fix that. Okay, a little bit better. Uh, so the principal axis is halfway between these two numbers, uh, 2 and 5. So we can, 5.2 and 2, I mean. So we can find the average of those. 5.2 divided by plus 2 divided by 2 uh, gives you uh, 3.6. So that's your d value. Your amplitude is half the distance between here and here. And the distance between there you get by subtracting. So 5.2 minus 2 over 2. And you get a 1.6 for a. And there's no flip or anything, so it's not negative. Uh, C value, well, normally cosine hits its maximum at zero, so this is over 4.25. So C is going to be 4.25, that's the horizontal shift or the phase shift. And lastly, B, we get with the, the period equals 2 pi over B. Okay, so the period, half the period is from here to here. Okay, so that is. Um, 10.45 minus 6.25 is, or 4.25 is 6.2. So the period is going to be 12.4. Okay, equals 2 pi over b. So solving, you get b equals 2 pi over 12.4. And I guess we could leave it like that. So our function is the height as a function of time is given by 1.6 cosine 2 pi over 12.4 x minus 4.25 plus 3.6. Okay, so next we can use the equation to find the depth of the water at noon. So you basically just plug in 12 into this equation. So if you plug in 12 to the equation, make sure you're in radian mode, and you get 2.74 meters. Okay, lastly, large boat needs at least 3 meters of water to moor at the end of the period. During what time, a period after noon, is it safe, is it, uh, safe to moor? Uh, so looking at 3 meters is about here. So we need to draw a horizontal line and solve when uh, when it's above 3 meters in the afternoon, right? So let's do that on the calculator. Okay, so let's type in the function that we made. 1.6 cosine, make sure you're in radian modes again. So 2 pi divided by 12.4. Uh, bracket x minus 4.25 plus 3.6. Oops. Okay, and I'm going to graph the line y equals 3. For my window, I want to go x values, I guess, 0 to 24. Because there's 24 hours in a day. My y values just need to go up to 6. And let's just see the whole thing. Okay, so we're looking at the times in the afternoon, so after 12 o'clock, which is probably over here somewhere, right? Maybe this whole region. So let's just solve. Um, so I'm going to find the point of intersection. And yeah, make sure I'm over here. And we get 12.79. So that is the first time is 12.79 or 12.8 and 
The other time is, oops, second calc. Intersect. Let's go on over there. Okay, that is 20.5. Okay, so from this time to this time, you might want to change that to um, hours and minutes. So you can do 0 0.8 times 60, that's actually 48 minutes. So it's from 12, 48. And this is obviously um, 20.30 or 8.30 in the afternoon. Okay, next we have a Ferris wheel question. This Ferris wheel is 80 meters tall and complete, can, can complete one full revolution in nine minutes. So I'm going to try to draw a graph of height versus time. So what happens is you start off at the bottom of the Ferris wheel, and then you uh, rise up and then come back down into the beginning, and then you come back up again and then come back down. Okay, so that's, this happens in nine minutes. Um, now if I extend this graph a bit, it kind of looks like an upside down cosine function. So that's what I'm gonna use uh, to model this. So I'm gonna say it's a cosine function with no horizontal shift. So I just need cosine bx plus c. All right, so uh, let's look at the amplitude now. So the amplitude is half of 80, which is 40. But I've got a flipped, I've got a flipped over cosine function, so I'm going to say a is negative 40. Okay, so the height as a function of time is 40 times cosine, and the c value uh, is going to be the principal axis, which is also 40 because that's right in the middle. Okay, so let's figure out the b value. So we're going to use period equals 2 pi over b, and the period of this function is 9. So 9 equals 2 pi over b, so b equals 2 pi over 9 is, is the b value. So, okay, so that's going to be 2 pi over 9 times x, or times t, plus the c value, which is 40. Okay, so the question asks, how long is it? Uh, spent 50 meters above the ground in one revolution. We'll need to graph 50 meters here and solve for these times. Okay, so let's do that on the calculator. Um, okay, I guess I can set my window now. Uh, I just need to go up to 9 and my y max needs to be 80. Let's type in my function it needs to be negative 40 cosine uh, 2 pi over 9 oops, 2 times so it's under the bracket okay plus 40 All right, so uh, I think this will, maybe I'll just double check. I think I should put that in uh, like times, yeah, times x. Okay, I think that should work. Okay, so let's graph that. And there it is, sort of looks like what I graphed. And we need to find these points. So second calc intersect. Okay, where's my cursor? I'll go over to this point of intersection. Enter, enter, enter. And we get, oh, what was that? Uh, two point, is that correct? Let me try that again. Second calc, intersect. Enter, enter, enter. So 2.61. Okay, so that's 2.61 over here. Okay, that's 2.61. And let's find the other point. Second, calc, 5, 
and go over there. Enter, enter, enter. We have 6.39. So that's 6.39. Okay. That is minutes. So we've got 6.39 minus 2.61. Uh, minutes. So let's do 6.39 minus 2.61 equals 3.78. Okay, so if I want minutes, I'm going to have three. I want minutes and seconds, I'm going to have three minutes, and let's do 0 0.78 times 60, which is about 47 uh, seconds. So it's three minutes, 47. Okay, next we've got this. Uh, water wheel problem. Okay, so suppose a water wheel rotates six revolutions per minute. So that means one revolution takes 10 seconds. So actually that's going to be the period of my function is 10 seconds. So I'll get that information right off the bat. Okay, so let's take a look at what's happening here. Actually, I'm going to actually draw the graph first because I find this will help me with part A, make an equation, right? So what's happening here is your heights are going to go from, uh, well, the radius is 7, so 13 meters above the water. It's going to be the top part here, so let's go up to 13. And we go as far below the surface of the water as 1 meter below the surface, right? Okay, so that's going to be our range of our function. And so what happens is, it says after 2 seconds, the point P reaches its maximum, which is 13. So after two seconds, one, two, we have our maximum. Okay? And the period is 10 seconds, so I know there's going to be another maximum in 10 seconds. So that's going to be at 12 seconds. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We'll have another maximum. And unless we'll do another one. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, I just need 10, right? 10 is the period. So at uh, 22, you're also going to have a maximum. Okay, so halfway between maximums on your uh, function, you're going to have a minimum. And halfway between 2 and 12 is 7. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You're going to have a minimum, and that minimum is down at negative 1, right? Okay, and so that's at 7. So at 17, you're also going to have another minimum. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so this is, now you can kind of see what the function is going to, going to look like. I'll draw it here. Yeah, not bad. Okay, then it, oops, so it keeps going like that. That's not very good there, but you get the drift. Uh, this is going to be, let's use a cosine function to model this because it looks very close to a cosine function. Okay, so I'm going to use y equals a cosine bx. Uh, minus C plus D and let's get all those values okay the amplitude is going to be uh, half the distance from here to here so that's going to be 13 minus negative 1 over 2 which equals 7 uh, the D value is going to be 13 plus negative 1 over 2 which equals 6 the uh, C value is the horizontal shift or phase shift that's over 2 from where it's supposed to be in a cosine function. So C equals 2. And so the period equals 2 pi over B. And the period is 10, as we said. So 10 equals 2 pi over B. And you solve that for B, you get B equals pi over 5. So the equation of this function is 7 cosine pi over 5 times time minus 2 and plus 6.